For SunSentinel.com, this is Ira Winderman with your latest Ask Ira Miami Heat mailbag. Our first question today comes from Tony in Monterey, California, who says simply, this is the best batch of prospects Miami has had to develop since I can remember. And I have to agree that when you look at someone like Hassan Whiteside and his possibilities, if you're going to spend $98 million, you might as well spend it on someone with his upside. Similarly, with Justice Winslow and Josh Richardson, this reconfigured roster should give them an opportunity to grow. You can make the same comments with people like Briante Weber and even Rodney Magruder, which all of this is what makes me wonder why the Heat went out and matched the Nets offer sheet for Tyler Johnson. It's not about Tyler Johnson. It's about having enough in place already to grow from within. With Whiteside, with Winslow, with Richardson, with Weber and Magruder, it just seems there's almost a redundancy with Tyler Johnson. But what do- is done is done, and the reality is the Heat now have enough young players to develop that should they land a star, there'll be enough already in place. Our second question comes from Jennifer in Miami, who asks if we see the Heat playing a style similar to the 2008-2009 Orlando Magic, a team with shooters around Hassan Whiteside, playing fast and with defensive tenacity. I'm not sure right now that you could put us on Whiteside where Dwight Howard stood that season with the Magic. And when you look at what Orlando had that season with outside shooting, we're talking Rashard Lewis, J.J. Redick, Jameer Nelson, Hito Turkoglu, Courtney Lee, and even McKeel Petrus. But what I will say is that with Wayne Ellington and with Josh Richardson and Tyler Johnson and maybe even Josh McRoberts and Luke Babbitt, if they're featured as stretch fours in the lineup, you could have something similar to what Magic offered a dominant inside big man, and a lot of people loading up from the perimeter. And our last question comes from Viro, who asks, Who do you think has the higher ceiling, Justice Winslow or Josh Richardson? I think it depends how you quantify a player's ceiling. I think Justice is more advanced on the defensive end and seeing the floor on offense. Josh, by contrast, is the more athletic of the two and a far better shooter. Justice has more room for growth in his game because I believe that the lack of athleticism somewhat can be overcome. But at the moment, I probably would say that Josh Richardson is more of a prospect right now based on what he's shown to this point with his shooting and the way the game has changed. Of course, this all can change in a year or two based on a growth curve, and that's what you need to see with prospects, that they can grow, that they can become a little bit more than what they are right now. Those are today's three questions. We'll be back tomorrow with three more. For SunSentinel.com, I'm Ira Winderman.